What's up? This is Rap Hits and So Little Cam, Fifth Ward Menace was arrested. And so he was picked up on charges for gun possession as a felon and carrying a gun in the establishment and stuff like that. But this is the thing. They got him on some fairly weak charges right now. Okay? Because these charges usually hold about maybe four years, three years, or whatever. Plus, they're in Texas, so they might even get out quicker than that. Because, like, in Chicago and Texas, usually with these types of felons with the gun charges, it's supposed to be about three years. But it might end up being a federal charge. That's the thing. Usually, stuff like that is a federal charge. So, I think this might be a federal charge, which... If we can confirm that this is a federal charge, this could just be the start of something bigger. Because the thing with Little Cam is it seems like he was present at a lot of these dice games where a shooting or M happened. Uh, you know what I mean when I say M? A body got turned up, you know, um, fatal, a fatal wound. So that happened with the Duke, uh, the jeweler situation where the mob ties was all um, in that party, they had orchestrated the party. They they keep orchestrating these dice games, which could be in a legal act in its own if they really want to start getting petty. I guess you can call it, you know, because if the if the feds really want to get these guys, they're organizing these dice games. Okay, so that's something that they can overlook, and they mostly do. People have dice games all the time in the streets. That's not something that's a top priority on authorities list usually but with the murders that have been happening with these dice games um that becomes a big deal so now they can use if they really want to they can use the dice games that jay prince has organized and really turn that into something now they can turn that into something because it looks like little cam was jay prince jr's shooter so this is a little hothead. I think he might even be underage. I'm not sure, but they're probably going to want to charge him as an adult if they can. I think they'll be able to. I think he's like 16 or 17. So what's going to happen is it looks like they got little Cam on these weak charges and they're going to let him know if he talks. They're going to, well, here's how they're going to try to play him basically is they're going to put those other charges over Cam's head. They're going to have that murder charge or takeoff and all that over Cam's head. They're going to say this can get real serious right now. You know, right now we got you on this, failing with the whipping and stuff, but they're going to try to talk him into, um, you know, ratting, ratting Jay Prince out. That's who they want. They've been wanting Jay Prince. WAC 100 acted like he got a phone call from the feds before when they were beefing. Uh, WAC 100 was beefing with Jay Prince. The senior, the father, he was beefing with, not the junior. So the feds had apparently called WAC 100 looking for more information about the threats. Now, that f phone call could have been fake because WAC 100's a showman. He This this could be all entertainment, you know, or he might have been shook. And this was his way of trying to scare Jay Prince from backing off. But either way, it looks like the feds kind of want Jay Prince. I think Jay Prince had wrote a book or something. He was exposing a lot of the feds and how, you know. So it looks like they owned the Jay Prince. Um, even when the Murder, Inc. studios got uh, raided, that was a partnership with Jay Prince and Suge Knight. So they wanted that to turn to a bigger thing. But uh, Murder, Inc. kept their mouth shut and um, they got their charges dropped. So... They didn't talk, but I think that's what they really, I think their goal was to try to get eventually death row and rap a lot. So now they got Jay Prince Jr. He's making a lot of noise and it looks like Little Cam was always the shooter for, uh, I mean, this is allegedly, but according to pictures, it looks like Little Cam was popping up in all these hot situations where bodies ended up getting taken, you know, uh, there was a lot of M's going around and uh, during these dice games. And Duke the Jeweler got blasted. And uh, they thought Boosie did it. You know, the streets was talking. They thought Boosie was involved in that. But now that we're looking at it, we it looks like Little Cam was a hitman 
for Jay Prince Jr., but also it looks like he was a robber and he was around all these celebrities. And I, I feel like I, I personally, this is my opinion, but I feel like he, uh, Little Kim was taking it on himself to run up on the celebrities with the cash after the dice games on his own. I doubt Jay Prince Jr. had anything to do with that. To me, it, it feels like he just had this hothead shooter that was greedy. He wanted more money. He wanted to be the boss eventually, probably. So he was thinking he's going to collect on all these, you know, try to stack his paper up. And, that, you know, that thinking was real juvenile because I wouldn't have really gotten got him on like that anyways. Robin is not the way to get on. You know, he, he would have had to do something else because that's just not the way. That that might have been a temporary come up, but that ain't no way to really get on. But that, in his mind, he was thinking he's going to keep robbing these celebrities. And he, he not only robbed them, but it looks like he was shooting them and killing them. So... You know, a lot of a lot of people, if if they rob somebody, they like don't make this a one uh this a robbery. Don't make it a homie. You know what I'm saying? But uh, with 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 Cam, it looked like he had a trigger finger. It looked like he was taking people out. It wasn't just a robbery with him. He, he it was it didn't take much to turn that into a you know what a M. So we're trying to reduce the amount of times we say the M word, but you know what I mean when I, when we say M. So. Looks like little Cam got himself in, in you know, he locked up. And, and the funny thing about this thing, why, why I know it's more serious than it looks, is because he ain't got no bond as of now. Now, if they give him a bond, that means he either two things. He might be talking or they don't got enough evidence. But I, I know they really, this is all about takeoff. He, I think he has another charge for running from the law. I think he was on the run already. It sounds like he was caught up in some robberies or something and, yeah, he he had a list of things they was they was on him for already, and they want him to talk. Of course they do, cause this is about takeoff. This ain't about no gun possession. This this can't be. The whole streets, the internet figured out what had happened way before he got picked up. You go back on my list. I got. I'm gonna leave a link in the comment section. All the takeoff updates I've been leaving. You can see I've been on this from day one when people were saying little Cam was um he wasn't alive no more. People was trying to say Little Cam wasn't alive. I had made a video explaining that Little Cam's alive, and I had uncovered his Twitter uh, messages. Now this channel don't got enough subscribers yet. That's why, that's why uh, other channels was able to run with that information. But I've been um, showing y'all how we how we investigate, how we figure stuff out on this channel. So make sure you subscribe and share and like the video so we can get our clout up. Um, cause cause we're gonna bring you the real news. This is Rap His One. So, that's about it for today. Stay tuned for more. Like I said, check out the description box in the comment section for the takeoff updates. All right, I'm out of here. Oh, yeah. Go to RapHisOne.com also to make sure you got all the latest. All right, I'm out.